basement of La Penta. It's WICR. Hello, Iona College. Welcome back to the final segment of today's Sports Vault. Jersey Joe and Big Shot Rob back once again. And we're back for everyone's new favorite segment, our soccer segment. Now, I've been very vocal that I love. I've been following very closely Italian Serie A and the English Premier League. And we are shaping up this Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, to have the most exciting game of Serie A so far. The two best teams, and we talked about it last week, uh, Italian Serie A is a two-way race between AS Roma and Juventus. I mean, they are the clear-cut best teams. There's no one else even close. Both are 5-0, and haven't lost. Juventus hasn't been scored upon, haven't given up any goals. AS Roma's given up one goal. So you're playing two teams who've been supremely the superior team in every game they've played so far. And this is going to be very, very exciting. I can't wait for this upcoming game. Now, I watched a lot of Roma. I've watched uh, Juventus when I've had the chance, but Roma really has been getting a lot of production. I'm mean, getting guys like uh, Matteo Destro who've been playing well. You have Florenzi who's been playing well. Uh, Gervinho has been playing well. So you've got a lot of guys for Roma who are playing very well right now, which shapes this up to be very good. But uh, I'm just looking now. Juventus is the home team here, which is going to be tough for Roma. So this game really could be a toss-up. I think both teams are very, very good. Um, and you'll see this year, U- Juventus won the Italian Serie A league last year. If Roma is going to dethrone them this year, it starts here. And I'm really looking forward to this one here. And now the English Premier League for the weekend. Now, the thoughts that we just keep on having is, I mean, is Chelsea unstoppable? Rob, you, I mean, you were the one who first brought it up. You asked me, I mean, like, is Chelsea unstoppable? And based on what you've seen so far... I think Chelsea is just the clear-cut number one team in the Premier League. No one looks like they're better than them. And then one thing I've noticed as a new soccer fan, especially in Serie A and uh, uh, English Premier League, is they're very top-heavy leagues. You know, the top three or four teams are just so good, and there's a very big drop-off after that. That's something I've noticed. And now, Rob, i got to ask you, we've got the UEFA Champions League games coming up this Tuesday. A lot of very good ones, but I'm so torn. I have my favorite team in the English Premier League, Manchester City, playing my favorite team in the Italian League, Roma. What do I do here, Rob? What do I do? That's a hard one, Joe. It is. <laughs> I would say I would go with Roma because that, I know that's one team you really like to talk about yeah. a lot. And Roma, I think, I would stick with Roma. I think that's your team. And I, I would go with them for the game. That, that's a good point there. I mean, it's it's never tough. I mean, the last time I had to watch my Chargers and Lions play, it killed me a little bit on the inside. That's the problem when you have two teams. I mean, it always hurts a little bit when you win at the same time. But some of the other UEFA Champion League games you have that are really good, you have CSK Moscow against Bayern Munich. Uh, Roma beat just handed it to uh, Moscow in the first game. Munich should win that pretty handily. Manchester City, Roma, regardless if you're a fan of the teams, that is just, that's such a good matchup, man. I'm going to be in class, unfortunately, but I, I would do anything I possibly could to watch that game. That is going to be so good. And then you have Paris SG against Barcelona. Again, that is another tremendous game. Arguably one of the best teams in France against the best team in La Liga for Spain. That is going to be so good. And then a couple other ones. You have Chelsea against Sporting and CP. Chelsea, again, they they drew in their first Champions League game. They'll get a win here pretty easily. Um, and then coming up later in the week, you have the other division. You have Atletico Madrid against Juventus. That's going to be an exciting game. And it sets up also really well for Serie A because Juventus is a tough Champions League game. And so does Juventus. So they're both playing each other on the Saturday after playing a very, very tough Champions League game each. But I don't want to overdo it on soccer. I wanted to get a little bit of soccer in there before we went on. But I'm glad I got to talk a little bit. We gave you everything, though. We gave you our World Series. Series predictions, talk the NFL, college football, soccer. Rob, we didn't get to it this week, but basketball is coming, and I couldn't be more excited about it. Yeah, me too. That's my favorite sport. Unfortunately, my Knicks, I don't know how it will be this year, but I like basketball, and I like what's been going on in the league, and I think it's going to be a real exciting year. I'll just say, uh, on Friday, I watched probably like four hours of the Cleveland Cavaliers training uh, media day coverage, and uh 
it's it will just feels good seeing LeBron back in Cavs colors. It really looks good. The energy I've seen coming from Cavs camp, it's going to be tremendous, and I, I'm just I'm so excited watching it. But that's coming eventually. Maybe we'll get to it next week. But this has been the latest edition of the Sports Vault. As always, thank you for tuning in, and it just was a great show. And everybody, you have a great week.